If you, if you have ever, ever watched, watched an old Western, Western movie and, and can picture in your mind a vast herd of buffalo, buffalo roaming across the plains, then you, you are, are picturing a temperate grassland biome. These biomes are characterized by their vast expanses of open land that receive relatively little rainfall and are home to large herbivores. Temperate grassland biomes have a semi-arid climate and normally receive between 15 and 30 inches of precipitation per year. Much of the precipitation they receive falls in the form of snow during winter months. Depending on the latitude of the temperate grassland, they often experience long, hot summers. The temperatures in the grassland vary according to the season. In the, in the winter, winter it, is it is possible for the temperature to dip well below freezing, freezing. And, in and in the summer, summer it is not uncommon for temperatures to stay above 90 degrees Fahrenheit for a long, long period, period of time. time. Due, Due to the, the relatively low amount of precipitation received in these grasslands, grass lands, it, is it is difficult for trees, trees and large shrubs, shrubs to survive. To survive. For this, for this reason, reason, the majority of plants found in the biome consist of different types of grasses. These grasses, These grasses have adapted, have adapted to, survive to survive long periods, periods of drought, drought as, well as well as the cold, cold temperature and occasional fire spread throughout, throughout the area. area. They have, they have also evolved, evolved to have large, large deep root systems, systems to take hold, hold in the soil and help, and help prevent, prevent erosion. erosion. The grass, the grass found, found here can either be tall or short, short depending, depending on the location, location of the grassland and, and the amount of rain they receive. receive. In areas, in areas that receive, that receive less rain, rain the, grass the grass consists of shorter, shorter species. Warmer areas, areas that receive more, more rain are home to taller, taller species, species of grasses, of grasses, grasses including sagebrush, cacti, sunflowers, and clover. Due to the vegetative makeup of the grasslands, they are home to large varieties of herbivores, which are animals that have adapted to plant material. In the, in the Americas, Americas the, animals the animals include bison, bison and wild, and wild horses. horses. In, in Africa, Africa, the animals, animals include gazelle, gazelle zebra, zebra, and rhinoceros. The, the presence, presence of these large herbivores also brings, brings in predators, predators such, such as wolves, wolves in the Americas and lions, and lions in, Africa. in Africa. Some of the, Some smaller, of the smaller animals that inhabit, that inhabit the temperate grasslands, grasslands include prairie dogs, dogs grasshoppers, grasshoppers, snakes, coyotes, coyotes sparrows, sparrows, quail, quail and, and hawks. hawks. Temperate, temperate grassland, grassland biomes can be found, found in many locations. locations. Often they are known by different names, names in the areas, areas where they exist. exist. In, in South, South Africa, Africa, they are known, known as Velt. In Argentina, in Argentina and Uruguay, Uruguay, they are, they are called, called pampas. pampas. In, in Russia, Russia, they are referred, they are referred to, to as the steppes. And, and, and in the United States, States we call, call them the plains, plains and prairies. prairies. While there, While there were once vast expanses of temperate grasslands in the United, United States, States, their size, their size has, has been reduced greatly. greatly. Very, Very few natural prairies remain because, because the majority have been turned, turned into farms, farms or, or been converted, converted to grazing, grazing land. land. This, this is because, because they are flat, treeless, and have very rich soil. soil.